All right, so how are you doing? It's me, your old pal, Carl Welshman. We're doing a beer review, a beer from Modest Beer called Move Over Marlborough, Nelson Sauvignon. Sauvignon. It says on the back here, named for the Sauvignon Blanc grape variety, Nelson Sauvignon justifiably demands the florid palette of lavish Sommelier lingo to describe its sedipity and myriad notes. So in other words, it's going to taste a little bit different to your standard beer. Let's get this poured out. Now I have had a beverage, a Sauvignon beer before and it was kind of like wine and beer mixed together. It was, it was actually quite an exciting experience if I remember correctly. I did actually pop a rather small erection, which was nice. Yeah, it smells whiny. It smells like white wine, that's for sure. Look at that. Oh. Mm. Oh. It smells quite hoppy. Little, little thing on the back. We've got hops, Nelson Sauvignon, T90, which I assume is a sort of Terminator, Sub Zero Hop Keef, that must be uh, a wrapper. Grain, extra pale, golden promise, oat malt, wheat malt, shit malt. And then the yeast is London Ale 3. None of that means anything to me, but people watching this who are beer aficionados, aficionados, beer experts and enthusiasts, they might recognize some of the things I read out there. But without further ado, as always, my mouth is as juicy as a, well, you know what, huh? Mm? Let's have a taste. Wow, okay, I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Fucking all sorts is, is what happened. All sorts. Jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? Oh, that's lovely. That's a complicated beer, that. <laughs> Again, hell, that is a complicated bastard. Oh, easy, tiger, calm down. So straight off the bat, it's quite carbonated, as you can see. It's a lively little bastard. It's Quite cloudy. Come and have a peep. Come have a peep of that. Look at that. Quite opaque. Nice foamy white head there. Beautiful, beautiful foamy white head. But it's, it was that sip just, just hit me with all sorts. So refreshing. Little, almost a little, little bit of resinous, pininess at the back, but not in a bad way like a fucking West Coast, which I don't like. Definitely getting little smackings of fucking Sauvignon Blanc white wine in there. Don't fucking tell anyone, right? But in between drinking beers, if I'm not drinking beers, I'm drinking a lot of white wine with my wife because she loves the bloody stuff, that woman. She's not got a drinking problem or anything like that. But when she's having a tipple, it's, most of the time it's white wine and I'm, I'm definitely getting that. So it's like a, a full flavor, just... Mm. Yeah. That's delicious. Coming in at a 6% as well, which is a bit cheeky, which means I probably by the time I finish this, I will be uh, feeling a little, little bit of a buzz and we'll uh, probably move on to another beer afterwards. It's, hang on. <sighs> Fucking hell, excuse me. Excuse if you're eating your dinner. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> That's delicious. I can't actually compare it to anything I've ever had before. So, like I said, there's little elements of sort of West Coast sort of piney resinousiness. I'm also getting little hints of fucking sort of like a pale ale or yeah, like pale ale sort of tropics in there, just a but little hints of it. And then just this kind of white wininess going in through there as well. So yeah, overall a fucking tasty, 
tasty beverage, something a little bit different, and yet another fucking home run from Modest Beer. These guys definitely get, get yourself a few different Modest Beers because so far they haven't let me down. I've, I think I've got another two or three in the fridge out there of some other beers. Maybe we'll uh, try them out tonight as well. And we'll make it a Modest Beer night. We'll see. We'll just see where the night goes. But uh, for now, cheers. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Oh, don't bother. It doesn't really bother me. I'm never going to be trying to monetize this. I've got a real job as well on the side. I just do these for a bit of fun. Usually, I, I, I started this whole thing really just to document the beers I was drinking, just so that I knew, oh, Carl, that's a good one. That's the sort of beer you should be getting again. So do what you want. If you, if you like the videos and you want to see more of my bullshit, then yeah, give it a, give it a like and a subscribe. But cheers anyway.